Sorry guys, we interrupt your local broadcasting to have a special announcement of our giveaway winner. The time is officially 9.05. Uh, it might get later depending how many long it takes me to edit this thing right now, but I have my laptop right here, so let's get it going. All right, so I'm gonna do here is I got my video. I'm gonna refresh it real quick just to see if there's any last minute entries. I don't think there was. I was surprised because it has a lot more views than it does people that entered. So, you know, better chances for the people that actually did it. So, I put it in here. Uh, my education not the best, but there you go. 13 people, boom, start. The winner is G3 Steve. The winner is G3 Steve. Congratulations, bro. Mahalos. Uh, I'm going to be sending you a comment right now, you know, that way I can get your, your information and then I can get this shipped out to you. Uh, yeah, dude, special Mahalos. You know, Mahalos to all the subscribers out there. You know, even if you didn't win, you know, like I said, I'm going to have another one at 500 subscribers. So, you know, I appreciate all the love and support. I really do. Um, congratulations to G3 Steve. And yeah, we now return back to our regular broadcasting. Back to another episode of North Calavaya. My name is Kavai. Today's episode, we're going to test the, the lunar activity. It's Right now, it says that it's supposed to be pretty high for fishing, so we're going to put it to the test and see if the fish really are biting right now. And first, we got to get some bait, so we stay go. It's always interesting when you're the first one on the beach because you see all these little tracks from all these animals that are out here running buck wild out here. Look. See, look here. Looks like there's kind of like a little riptide, like the current's going out that way. Then uh, in this section right here, it looks like there's a little hole. And then right in this area, it looks like there's a sandbar. It looks kind of flat. So from right in this area, it kind of like loops out and then comes back in. So it makes like a U shape like this. So I'm just going to try here for real quick, just because it looks so good. Uh, and then we'll actually walk down to the spot that I was trying to go to. So first cast, see if we got anything in here. So originally from down on the far end, this is kind of the spot I was talking about right here. See how it looks pretty calm right here. So I'm going to try this spot right here. But originally I was walking on this sandbar right here. Walking on the sandbar all the way over to right about this point. And then I thought about it, you know, that right now peak low is about 7.30. So it's still kind of going down. But once that tide starts coming up, I'm going to lose my footing and I'm going to lose this sandbar. So I decided, you know, I'll just come to shore instead and play it safe, guys. You know, the spot looks good, you know, see if you can find another spot, you know, to, to get to it or another way to get to it because, you know, just staying on that sandbar, not watching time, you know, let's say if the bite is really hot, you're losing time, you're going to lose your footing, you know, on your way back. And this water right here is about three feet already. So can you imagine when, you know, the tide rolls up. So just be careful, guys, watch where you're going. So from there, I walked over here. I'm going to fish this spot right here because it looks pretty calm and looks pretty deep. You can see all the white water on the far end over there. So I got sandbar, white water, and right in this area right here looks pretty good. So, make it happen. A few moments later. Here we go, finally. First fish. Doesn't feel huge, but hey, no skunk. He's all right. It's like a sh medium. Tide's starting to roll up, so maybe now they're getting hungry. So, let them go. Surprised they didn't bite the sand crab. They've been eating the sand crab lately. So, put this guy on there. No eggs, but it's a soft shell, so they should still want them, right? First fish was at 7.16. Took a while. I had two earlier bites, but nothing stuck. 
shit. Came off. Ooh, there's a good one. That's a bit pretty hard. That's a good one. Took a little bit of drag. At least it's a good fighter. Uh, it's like the same size almost. But this one bit the, the soft shell. Good fight. Let him go. But I think we found the spot. Anapa. Oh man, all these perch are pretty good fighters. I'm pretty sure it's kind of small, but fighting pretty good. <laughs> like all the same size. But yeah, man, for some reason they're, they're fighting really good today. They're really hard. Tres. I think it's kind of hard because the water right now is still low tide, so you got to get right in that pocket. And if it doesn't stay long with this current, this current's pushing it to the left pretty fast, so it's getting out of that pocket really fast, so... The bite's a little hard to, to get, but I mean, the fish are still there. If I catch another one the same size, I'll probably move down and see if we can find some bigger ones. But what I like about this spot right here is that right here, this is kind of where the, the hole is where I'm aiming. It kind of opens up more towards the ocean out there. So my hope is that, you know, the bigger fish are going to come in and then go back out. But just trying to stay inside of this pocket, like I said, because the current's pushing to the left. A little difficult. There's one. All right, all right. It's fighting pretty good. And he's not same. So that's uh, a little heavier. A little heavier, but looks the same size. All right, I lied. I'm having fun. One, one more, and then we'll move down. Look at that. This guy is so small, I didn't even know he was on there. <laughs> but I just uh, changed spots. This spot looks really promising. This is actually my first cast in this area. Look how red his fin is. This is actually my first cast in this area. And uh, this spot over here looks it looks pretty deep, but it also looks very wide. So this spot right here looks pretty promising. What's up? The seals right in front of me now. Right there. As long as you don't get stuck in my line. Seal. Oh, look how close this guy is. He's right here. He's like, he's like right here. Can you see him? Look how close he is. Maybe like 20 feet away from me right now. That's cool. Cool seeing him, but I don't want to see him right now. What the? Well, that's a surprise. A little bullhead. All right, guys, 9.01, time for me to start heading out of here. Today was definitely a grind, even though all these spots, man, they got all these nice pockets that look like, you know, they'd hold some fish, but yeah, they just weren't hungry today. So we'll try it again later and I'll probably make this do a two part series. So then at least, you know, you get some action instead of just those little babies that I caught. So stay tuned for day two.
Oh, and a little bullhead to end the day. <laughs> Two bullheads. Does anybody know if this thing's poisonous? I don't think it is, right? And it's got like these barb things here. Pretty sure it's not poisonous, they just look a little nasty. There you go. Striper bait. So I'm gonna cast this out. I'm just gonna do a troll with it. Start walking back, so stay tuned. Part two. The next morning. All right guys, Hanapa, first fish. Oh, it's a good fighter. Pulling some drag. Oh, it feels pretty decent. Feels pretty decent. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, look at that guy. That's a good one. First fish, bro. That's a big one. Let's keep this guy. That's a nice size right there. Probably six, uh, maybe nine, ten. I'll measure them afterwards. First fish, baby. Yeah, guys and gals, it's been a grind the past two days, man, with this low tide. There's no real rhyme or reason why I picked this area. It's really because I'm trying to find structure, but you can see down here, it's kind of a flat land, you know, a sandbar almost the whole way. This area right here has a couple little holes right here that kind of has, you know, pushes this water back. So that's kind of reason why I'm doing this in this area. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm being honest with you. I don't know. I just saw some structure and decided to try it, you know, versus the flatland. So, yeah, so far this thing, you know, panned out for me with that guy. Uh, I put on this big soft shell. Is that still right there? Big soft shell like this is what I threw on there. So I had a feeling, you know, it might get hit. I didn't expect, you know, that big guy. But, yeah, that's the reason why I picked this spot is because, you know, look for structure. Whether it be holes, where it be, you know, little tiny potholes like this, you know just to, to get some kind of structure in there that'll eat up, get all those sand crabs out and, you know, hopefully get some fish. There's one. This one feels pretty weighty. Feels pretty weighty. <laughs> weighty because of the seaweed. Small guy. Hey, bro, why are, you, why are you playing with my emotions? Let you go. There's one. Oh, this is pretty big. Nope, nope. Nope. It felt heavy. <sighs> Freaking seaweed. Pretty decent. Oh, I just fell off. <laughs> it just fell off in the water. Shucks. Yeah, that felt like a pretty good one, too. Oh, well. It is what it is for this video guys I didn't realize there's fog inside of this camera but check out all these sand crabs gold sand crab on a hot guys I was doing the troll because honey hole was a bus is gonna walk to a new spot so I threw one out there, started walking, and this one feels pretty good. Let's see. Ah, it's okay, it's like a medium. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen my trolling for perch video, just throw a line out, start walking. You never know what's gonna hook up. <laughs> 